Hey y'all, so we are continuing our mini-series for Lent, and today I wanted to talk about two books in the Bible. It's, um, not two books, I'm sorry, um, one book of the Bible, Psalms, and then two chapters in it, Psalms 18 and Psalms 37. I was reading my Jesus Calling book, and if you're ever having trouble understanding verses, I highly suggest that you read the verse before and then the verse after. So that's what I was doing with these, and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to read the whole entire chapter. And I ended up doing it, and I'm so glad that I did because I forget how great our God is and how big He is and how much He truly does love every single one of us. And these verses really reminded me of that. I actually had to read some of them more than once, and I stopped while I was reading um, Psalms 18 the second time because I really couldn't grasp or handle all the love that He has for us. So, y'all know how this works. We go over it. I pinpoint certain things, and then we talk about it, but... Here's the gist of what we're talking about. So these two verses really remind us that nothing can deny us our inheritance into heaven and heaven, heaven and um, that he's bigger than all of us and his strength is bigger than all of us and he made us to do so much more than we think we can accomplish just like with anything in life. If we hold back and we just live day to day, we're not going to accomplish anything and we're not really going to grow in our own lives or you know, really figure out what we're really capable of. And he reminds us that we are capable of so much more than we could ever imagine just because of his strength and us all up. First, we're going to read um, Psalms 37, mainly because Psalms 18 is pretty, it's pretty hard to grasp everything that's going on in there. Don't fret because of the evil-minded or envious of wrongdoers who get, a, get away with things. Delight yourself in the Lord. He will bless you. Commit and trust your way with the Lord. Be still and wait patiently. Wait for him. You will receive your blessings. Refrain from anger for those who don't will be cut off. The Lord laughs at the wicked. He knows how our days will go. The righteousness are generous and give him while the broken take without return. He won't shame us when we fall short. We will inherit the land forever. He will not abandon us for power. He delivers and saves us from all evil. I don't know if y'all have ever really read many chapters in Psalms, but... I think the whole, it's a huge book, but I think that every single chapter really ties into the same thing because when I was going through my book, I read 37 before 18, and it's almost as an introduction, even though it's not like that in the actual Bible, 18 comes before 37, obviously, but it was an introduction, and all these books play off of each other, and it's kind of cool, it's kind of creepy, it's just, it's crazy how not one book, not one single chapter, not one single verse can describe everything that God can do for us. So Psalm 18 is a little more um, dramatic, I guess you could say, and I highly encourage you to go and read this one on your own. He is our rock, strength, fortress, and shield. His temple hears our cries and tears. The mountains shook with his anger. There was darkness, noise, and destruction as he came from heaven. The world laid bare as he took me from the high waters. He rescued me from the stronghold of the enemy who hated me. He rescued and delighted in me. I was rewarded for my faithfulness. I am pure, blameless, and humble. I can jump rocks because he gave me the feet of a deer. He has trained me for the war with the shields of my salvation. I pursued my enemies without belittling myself. I destroyed enemies and those who turned against me. I helped find lost souls. You exalted those who rose against me. Great salvation he brings to his kingdom. Psalm 18 was kind of like a kick in the face, I guess, because I reread it twice because the first time I read it, I was just jotting down things, and then I really realized I needed to go back and read it again. And I think I got to about verse 30, and I had to stop because in the beginning, he talks about how angry he gets when we're hurting or when we doubt ourselves or anything like that. And he talks about how he shook the mountains, and he created earthquakes, and he made lightning and thunder. And my grandpa used to tell me when I was little, if you hear thunder, he's mad. And so he's mad. He was stomping around in heaven. He created lava. He stormed through heaven. He came through the clouds. He parted the seas. And he got David out. And he stood by him while he was being cursed, persecuted by all of his enemies, by all the people who didn't believe him. He stood by him while he had to walk alone in his faith. And that's such a great reminder that we don't go through things like people back then did in actual biblical time, but we go through things so similar, and God hates when we're so down on ourselves and that we don't have faith in ourselves even. He never wants us to feel like we're walking alone, and that's why I love Psalms 18, is 
it reminds us that we're never alone and he is there with us every step of the way and he will come and save us and all we have to do is ask all we that's all we have to do is ask for him to come and save us i hope you guys enjoyed remember to like this video and subscribe share it and save it if you're ready to watch it later and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye